What's going on guys? Night Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm taking a look at the next video and currently the last video in the Rainbow Dash Percent series. Uh, this one is called Bittersweet. Uh, I say this, I say currently because originally I was gonna, I wasn't gonna do this video just yet. I was gonna do it later on in the week. But I just heard on Equestria, well actually I heard from a comment a little while ago that they were uh, making a new episode for Rainbow Dash Percents. But today on Equestria Daily I heard that they are going to have it out on June 18th. Which is this coming Saturday. So I decided to go ahead. I'm going to watch Bittersweet. Get this one out of the way and be ready for when it comes out. Which I'm happy about. This worked out for how I was getting these videos out. It was just in time. So yeah, Bittersweet. Never heard this one, this fanfic before. So this is going to be all new to me. So I'll go ahead, get started, see what happens. Start in 3, 2, 1, start. Rainbow Dash presents Bittersweet. That looks very updated. Wow. Also, that book. What the fuck? Out of all the very best friends in the world, Pinkie Pie is the very best friend of any pony. She knows everything about everybody. What's your favorite color? Where do you live? When Struck do you sleep? She gummy. also wants to know where everyone is going and who do they talk to. She's also the best at parties. That's what her cutie mark is. You'd think that maybe she's just good at blowing up balloons or decorating with them, but Pinkie lucked out and got a more nebulous concept. Whenever Pinkie parties, the entire town parties. Cause she's got a subwoofer and she turns it all the way up. You can't not party when Pinkie throws an ultimate shindig. Yeah, so I where's mean, final? You have to be good at guessing what the music is because the subwoofers make all the music sound like someone is farting the alphabet into a megaphone. <laughs> but the point is that nobody gets left out. But one day my friend Pinkie found out that too much party cake can have serious adverse health effects like for example, diabetes, which it turns out Pinky had. Yeah, uh -huh. at first it didn't seem so bad, but the doctor told Pinky she was going to need like a, a liter of insulin every month or, or something crazy like that. And when she went to the pharmacy, she didn't have insurance, and they told her that Ponalog was still brand name medicine, so it cost more than 6,000 bits. At wow. first, Pinky was cool. She had this card the doctor gave her because the medicine salesman said it would help pay for things, but it turns out that the free medicine advertisement on the card had a little star next to it, so... um. It didn't cover anything, really. <laughs> but then Pinky started to get really mad, and she said some things, and the stallion at the store cried. And, and then the store manager came out, and he gave Pinky a card that offers up to 90% off of prescriptions. So she calmed down again until the corporate system reminded everyone that up to 90% is a range of values, including but not limited to 0%. And that's pretty important. After that, Pinky <laughs> took the store's entire stock of toothpaste and squeezed all of it out onto the bathroom floors. Uh -huh. After that, Pinky went home. And that's when I thought it would be a good idea to cheer everyone's best friend right up. Hello, Pinkie Pie. Wow. Dare defy Pinkie's sanctum. Yes. <laughs> fly through walls and rooftops. Use Pinkie's door. Yes. You will compromise, Pinkie. Uh, I came to cheer you up because you're sick and... This is uh, glass in her wings. Stops ringing. I got two tickets to the carnival. Fool! Pinkie's ailment is eternal. Yeah, I, I know, but the carnival goes all week. You mock Pinkie with the system. Gosh, Pinky, you've been eating a lot of ice cream up here. Aren't you worried about a tummy ache? Pinky has outwitted their diabetes schemes. Yes. They think to themselves, now we have Pinky, she will pay us, and soon she will be the slave. But no! Yes, Pinky defies them. She consumes the foods of doom. Is the ice cream cursed somehow? Their diabetes thinks it has claimed Pinkie Pie, but Pinky has claimed the diabetes, and on the eve of her demise, <laughs> the equestrian healthcare system will take the trip of guilt. <laughs> yeah, that is so Russian. Yes. Demise? <laughs> yes. From the ice cream? Yes. Pinky, no! It is too late. Pinky has achieved her victory, and in 24 hours from now, she will be a strain on the conscience. Pinky, is, is the ice cream taking you? Hmm. Pinky? No. Pinky is strong. Yes. Pinky will. Pinky. Oh. I, I, I'm confused. What's happening? Pinky is going to lay down now. Her <laughs> triumph comes in time. Pinky, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Tell the masses of Pinky's martyrdom. I, I think we should get help. No. no okay, yes. Uh, yes, get help, or yes, don't get help. No. Yes, ignore Pinky. She is weak. Ignore her. Okay, no, no, listen to Pinky. Send help. <laughs> Who should I call? Carry Pinky to the bridge and throw her off. Yes. 
Will that make you better? Yes, things will be fixed. Go! <laughs> okay. Roll Pinky over. Kill her. Yes. Are you sure <laughs> this is gonna make you feel better? Yes! Because Pinky, I don't think- Roll that... Pinky! <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, you are not adequate! Pinky, I'm starting to get scared again. Did a doctor recommend this? Cause, cause I think we should get a second opinion. You have failed, Pinky. <laughs> I don't know what to do, Pinky. I, I think I should call someone. Rainbow Dash. Do not ab abdicate your duties to Pinky. Yes. Ugh. Hello, mom. Hi, mom. I, I really need some advice. So my friend is. Oh. Why you call your mom? Yeah. Uh, no, classes, classes are doing fine. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I know, but they're doing okay. I, I don't want to talk about school right now, though, Mom. No. No, my grades are fine. Well, it's not because of my grades, Mom. I, yeah, I know how this feels I'm all too well. <laughs> uh, well, I just had to change my majors and stuff. No, don't don't stop sending money. Okay, <laughs> uh, put that on the phone, yeah. Hi, Dad. I said, hi, Dad. Do you have your hearing aid in? I said, do you have your hearing aid in? Oh my god. I know you're too young for a hearing aid, Dad. Do you have it in, though? Okay. Well, I, I have a friend who's like... I said I have a friend who... N no, she's not a college friend. C college is going fine. It's going <laughs> fine, Dad. Yeah, I'm gonna need a few more years of tuition, though. I know... I know... Wow. <laughs> compelled this diabetic young pony to commit suicide to the tune of severe cramping, internal bleeding, dehydration, and fruity breath. Oh, I don't know. What more is there to say, really? I mean, we all totally saw this coming. <clears throat> Not exactly this way, maybe. We probably predicted black powder or something, but I totally called it on suicide. So, diabetic ketoacidosis. What is this, the Dark Ages? We have medicine. <laughs> Do I have to talk? Can we just have another moment of silence to quietly contemplate whatever it was that Pinky was trying to accomplish? I mean, I want to respect the dead and all, it's just that I feel like maybe she killed herself out of spite and I don't know how to feel. I... Aww. <laughs> Thank you very much for complying with the last will and testament of the deceased. The, wow. the pony that should have noticed was me, Rainbow Dash. It's all my fault. I was irresponsible. Instead of helping, I talked to my mom about my dad's hearing aid batteries in school. I said I'm still going, but I'm not because I dropped out years ago. Of Thank course. you, Miss Dash, but I think it's best to keep our sadness focused on the death of your friend, don't you think? But it is. I, everyone, Rainbow Dash murdered Pinky. Murdered her. And it's all my fault. I'm the worst pony. I'm like the dumbest horse. And honestly, right. I keep thinking about going back to school. But how can I with all this blood on my hooves? Uh -huh. Because Pinky, she looked at me that night. And she said to me, Dash, you rolled me off that bridge. And I did. You should have gone with her. I feel wow. like we really bonded a lot since Pinky died. I used to trust her with my secrets, but now I can tell you. Go outside and play or something. <laughs> oh, hey, Fluttershy. Um, hey. Oh, hi, Rainbow Dash. I'm sorry. Uh, did I forget something today? I try, but no one ever... Hey, Fluttershy? What? Do you ever feel like Worst Pony sometimes? Yes. No, but you're not. I'm Worst Pony. No, I'm pretty sure I'm Worst Pony. No, you're not. I'm Worst Pony. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, I'm sorry for being Worst. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so, hey, you maybe want to hang out for a while and talk about our traumas? Not really. Oh, come on. Talking constantly about things that make you sad or angry is the surest way to help you forget those things and get over them. Otherwise, you uh -huh. just get all bottled up, and then I think you get a brain disorder. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, that would answer a lot of questions. Uh -huh. It's okay. You go first. Uncork that bottle and pour the contents out. Well, I guess that sometimes I worry that I take care of a lot of animals to make myself feel better, but the truth is... I can't even take care of myself. Is this supposed to feel awful? Because now I feel awful. Oh, um... 
Well, I think that's the healing, maybe. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Um, one time, I invited my friend Gilda to come see me here in Ponyville, so she took a vacation from her job to come out to see me, and then I was mean. I remember that. Yeah. My uncle used to say I have really bad teeth. Do I? No. I mean, they're okay. Do I smell bad? No, I, you know, I don't know. Like, you live with a lot of animals, so, you know, I... I used to have the biggest crush on my uncle. I think he knew, and I think he told my dad, and I think that's why my dad left our family. Oh. I think my mom knows, too, but she won't say anything. Well... That's really good to get out there, because now we can have the healing begin. Sometimes, I still think about calling my uncle and telling him, does that sound crazy? I just need uh, to know if he still thinks my teeth are bad. <laughs> um, uh, hey, Fluttershy, I don't can know I what to bathroom? say to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. She knows what she's, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> What? Twilight, I killed Pinky and I lied about school and I was mean to Gilda and I sleep on the job and I don't wear my retainer and I escaped from Fluttershy but I didn't tell her that her house smelled like pee and I'm a terrible friend. So, what do you want me to do about it? Make me feel better? Okay. Tell the truth about school, make peace with your teeth getting messed up, find a more challenging job, and forget about Gilda and what's-her-face. Twilight, no. I want a hug. <laughs> well, I don't. But, but you're feeling okay and my self-worth is all gone. I need a hug. I'm an alcoholic, and I hate everyone. <laughs> well, then we should talk about our feelings of sadness, and then you can hug me. No, Twilight. Hug me. Dash, now I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> you hug me right now! <laughs> what? What the hell? Aw. Hey, AJ. What are you doing? Applejack, I'm really sad. <sighs> Darling, you have been really actively moping around for a while now. I'm very actively sad. I know. <laughs> Sweetheart, it's okay to be sad sometimes. We all have our rough patches. It's nature's way of telling you that you're in a bad situation, but you gotta stop teleporting into my yard demanding physical comfort. I mean, you gotta get into a better situation. Well, a hug is a good situation. <laughs> well, that's okay. I, I could just hug you, and then maybe you can owe me a hug for later. Right. Horn help? So they just post pictures of their horns and nothing else, and they expect ladies to see them. This is my favorite website, baby. Of I course it is. It. Won't ladies want to see pictures of their faces? Their logic is mysterious, baby. And nothing is more Jay, alluring than mystery. Come on, can't you at least tell me that I'm still best pony? <laughs> Young lady, I told you to keep this door open when sco- What are you looking at? Stallions calling out for help in the only way they know how. Uh -huh. Hey, baby, I see you still got those adorable freckles. Oh, Darn it, God. sis, this kind of website ain't appropriate for you. It ain't appropriate for anybody, baby. <laughs> That's the siren call. <laughs> hey, forget this. I don't have anyone else to talk to. Pinky is dead. My needs are important. Wait, Pinky is dead? Y'all said she went on vacation. Well, then why did we hold a funeral? Dash? <laughs> Darn it, who did we bury? I don't want to have to talk with my sister about death. What's to talk about? Just last night, Mrs. Clucker bought him stop laying eggs and we cut her head off. Yep. Well, Scootaloo's parents probably don't want to have conversations with her about things really? she ain't ready for. Look at this one, baby. Yep. Twelve <laughs> inches. AJ, you need to be more sensitive. What do you mean? Well, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. And, and you, Dash, you ain't got nothing going on in your life. <laughs> I am sorry, but you are a magical flying horse and you do next to nothing for society. But I am a farm pony, and I'm not half big enough for most of the work I do, but I bust my hump every single day, and nobody ever asks me how I'm doing. That's not true. I come home from school every day and ask you how you're doing, and you just tell me fine. Shush, I'm not referring to you. The point is, you think it's all daisies and songs for me? If I took three months off of work to mope, the entire farm would die and my family would starve. We could move in with Cousin Brayburn. I don't want to live with Brayburn. What, just because of Granny? That's we, that's not true, you know, he's got other things going. Just Well, don't we get government help? Because I thought Big I'm, Mac said we wouldn't lose the farm on just one bad harvest. I guess okay. it has something to do the with is, the, uh, the farm. My hips are starting mentally to advanced I'm getting series. old enough to have kids. Well, that sounds okay, except for the hips thing, but the babies. Who do you think I'm going to marry? I don't know. Who do you like? Well, I don't get to decide, because if it ain't someone who can take over a farm, then it ain't going to work. And is my brother going to marry? I don't know. What, what is he doing with that spatula? What? Go home. 
What was he gonna do with that spatula? Apple Bloom, you're grounded from Scootaloo forever. What? But she's <laughs> half my friends. Well, I know a Philly who'd be a great new friend. Come on, let's oh God, go. The lines of this are amazing. Hey, oh, Jay, no, I'm kind of curious to know what was going to go right on now. with that special I'm as well. Sorry. Dash, I'm angry, and I don't want to discuss it. Derpy. Hey, Miss Hooves, y'all remember us talking about our little ones not making enough friends? Well, I think now's a good time for them to meet. Mom, 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 mom. What are you doing? What if someone sees you? Go, 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 go. Oh, come oh, on. What do you want? Well, hey there, Dinky. Wouldn't you like to have a sleepover with Apple Bloom? No. Oh, screw you, Dinky. You ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, come on, you two. It'll be fun. Apple Bloom loves Jenga. Uh, well, okay, but we have to play by special rules. All right. Have fun. Hey, Jay. Thank you, Derpy. I just realized, how's... How stinky a unicorn if this is Derpy's a Pegasus? Know, it totally is. I haven't even told you what the rules are yet. Dr. Hoops is a from one Earth of my pony. only friends is crap. Who's my she sister should, thinks she, she is? She be a unicorn. Oh, I, I know just what you mean. Uh, life is like Jenga. What? No, no, listen. You're supposed to pull out these blocks, and the blocks on the bottom are the most important, but <sighs> all anyone ever cares about are whether or not the blocks on the top are going to fall over. That's crap. Your analogy is crap. <laughs> Everything is crap. Oh. So, you are replacing us. Y'all scared the Jiminy's out of me. And I am not replacing you. I am just grounded from Scootaloo. I am grounded from her, too. You are screwing up our social dynamic and shrinking the size of our circle. Half the school is grounded from hoop Scootaloo, baby. But forbidden fruits are that much more enticing. hoo -ah. Well, it ain't my <laughs> choice. The system is always deciding for us. Yeah. Yeah, we should overthrow the system. We all, all right. should run away and start our own better system. That's good, too. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Derpy? Derpy? Oh. Aw, oh, man. Trig, Derpy, I hate when that happens. How? If you're really greasy today, you might be able to just slip your head out. Uh, but, Only hey, Derpy. The kids are leaving, and I I'm not supposed to watch after kids. I got a court order. Of course you I do. Think, uh, I think you're stuck, though, so... Uh, I'll go ahead. Um... I'll just finish my cocoa first, though, because the sink is busy right now, and I don't want to throw in the trash in case it leaks. Ow. Yeah. It, it's still hot. I have to wait a few minutes. I'm going to leave soon, though. You know, the kids have really little legs. I don't think they're going to get too far. Why not help her out of <laughs> oh Why the God. ever-free forest, exactly? Think about it. Okay. Well, the adults <laughs> are always telling us to never go here, so it's symbolic. Is that what a normal child would do? I think a normal kid would probably just go to their friend's house until they got hungry. Well then, I have many objections. Why are y'all always riding the bandwagon, Drakerzad? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey you guys! Dash, you go away. We are on a mission. What are you doing? This is child abuse. <laughs> Stop! What the fuck? <laughs> Stop! Stop! No more! What Apple the hell? Home, listen. Okay. The world presents some problems and we don't know what to do. You've come to find your feelings aren't exactly what you knew. The odds are stacked quite poorly if without a winning hand. But bear in mind your fairings only worse if you don't chin up. Don't bet on sinking chips because they'll turn your chips to trash. You gotta set your sights on hopes and setting not to crash. The truth can seem quite bleak if you don't make your plans unfurl. But I would not let that mar my opinion of the fact is that if you could fix the failings of the current paradigm, we would have a hero who's both been elusive and on time. Just one time. And then... We would all contrive new conflict chin up Don't bet on sinking chips because they'll turn your chips to trash You gotta set your sights on hopes and setting not to crash The truth can seem quite bleak if uh, you can't you be here. Girl, But I would not let that bar my opinion of the world This coming from a pony who's been up everyone's butt with moping for three months they let me take time off work for my emotional recovery, so... That is completely appalling. Well, I do blame myself and feel badly, and my job sucks. Look, I'm not saying to follow your heart or something dumb like that. Just chin up. Don't bet on sinking ships because they'll turn your chips Diamond to trash. Dogs? You gotta set your sights and hopes on setting not to crash. The truth can seem quite bleak and you would make your plans unfurled. But I would not yes. let that mark my opinion of the stipulations <clears throat> placed before you to get all the things you really need. Mr. Big may make things hard, but you have got to plant your seeds. Go to war. 
fight more. Your dreams thrive by competition. You'll find no one famous ever got there. Just by oh, flinching the at their foes. Cling against the torment claw. With all your might at what you know. Don't let go. Just grow. Don't wait or play to indecision. Chin up. Don't bet on sinking chips because you've got to be more grand. You've got to think ahead and carry out the things you plan. The truth can be of use when you can see where falsehoods lay. Don't quit on hopes or dreams when you have simply got to chin up. Don't bet on sinking ships because they'll only drag you down. You've got to keep on sailing even when you want to frown. The world will keep on turning without matter where you land. You might as well be <laughs> running when your feature hit the sand. Okay. So what you're saying is that the world is going to screw us left and right anyway, so we may as well screw the world right back. Oh, I'm saying that the world is a hard place, and if you oh. need a leg up, I can be there, but I think you'll be okay if you just keep working hard and find <laughs> yeah, new strategies. Knows. Really, I just want you to chin up. Don't bet on oh my God. because you've got to be more grand. You've got to think ahead and carry out the things you plan. Um, the Rainbow? can be of use when you can see where falsehoods play. Don't quit on hopes or dreams when you have simply got to chin up. Don't bet on sinking ships because they'll only drag you down. You've got the means to live and it needs merely to be found. Uh huh. Okay. The whole positive thinking spiel was great. But I think there may be limitations to its success. <laughs> Maybe we have stuff in common. Hey, do you guys like Jenga? No, and you're going to be food. Aww. Like everyone. I fail to notice that our lives involve a lot of negative examples of ways not to behave. If I had extraordinary sensory abilities, I might set forward the opinion that, in the future, we should just stay at Derpy's house and play Jenga. <laughs> not that I am saying that. This is a hypothetical world I propose. <laughs> Obviously, nobody else has noticed how often we do things that are outlandishly stupid. Wow. You're too late, ponies. We're going to eat these other ponies, and there is nothing you can do about it. Wait, we can negotiate. Oh, why'd you crush him with a rock? We could have tried diplomacy. It is diplomacy. I traded a big rock for Rainbow Dash. It is a pretty <laughs> fair trade, but I brought the elements of harmony with us and everything. I thought we were going to do something. two of them. That's amazing. Hey, you guys. You told me to come out to the meeting spot 15 minutes late, and you were already gone. But luckily some earthworms told me where to find you. Not that you care. Oh, yeah, I feel so bad for Flareshot. <laughs> like your powers combined. Hello. Yes, Pinky returns from the dead! Okay. How exactly are the elements of harmony supposed to work? Are they exactly. supposed to bring back the dead? I thought that necromancy required an expensive license and a college degree. Clear your eyes. Pinky returns. You can do necromancy without a degree, but you won't be Oh, hired shut up, her. Pinky. We are still mad at you. <laughs> what? From what are you mad at, Pinky? Seriously? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Mom, everyone can see you. Here, hide behind this bush. Just Come on. Pregnancy. Your funeral was expensive. Dash hasn't <laughs> shut up about the whole thing for months. I was coming to terms with it, but... I'm emotionally confused again. It's kind of a pain in the ass to have had a funeral if you're gonna come back from the dead. And you make my mom feel really insecure. <laughs> Who's mom? <laughs> my mom. Don't you change the subject. What is this? Pinky brings you closure. How would this be closure? So it turned out we basically learned nothing. Life still carried on in all its hardships, but I went back to my job. Pinky continued as a vengeful spirit, thanks to the powers of the elements of harmony, which nobody really understood. And she haunted the pharmacy by constantly activating the drive through window. The courts decided I wasn't guilty of any crimes, granted the circumstances, since I wasn't intentionally watching anyone's kids, which is good, and AJ just kind of forgot about Scootaloo being banned from the house. All in all, I guess you could say that life is full of these little compromises, but as long as you keep setting new objectives, there's no telling where you'll go. Life is kind of like a Jenga tower. You pull out a piece from the past and use it to build the tower higher, and when it falls over, you just pick it up and build it again. Then you teach your kids and hope that they can learn from you to build an even better one. It never really ends, but this story is over, so, the end. All right.
These never make any sense. <laughs> Then Pinky joined the Ghost Wonderbolt. It was awesome. It took me a second to understand that one. <laughs> I was like, that sounds so familiar. Didn't they just, didn't they, wasn't that part of Cupcakes? But then I just realized Rainbow said Pinky. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. That was a really good one. Um, the animation looked like it got better. Uh, funny story. That song was pretty catchy. Um, yeah, other than that, it was just a typical uh, Rainbow Dash Presents story. I'm, I'm pretty sure that reference with Braeburn and Graham Smith was probably in the Manly Advanced series, which I'm going to get through, start that up at some point, but that, that won't be for a while. Um, so yeah, uh, now we just gotta wait for the new Rainbow Dash Presents to come out on the 18th. And then I also got a couple of shorts of the series to watch. And then that'll be it for that. So, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy. I feel the pain so deep. It takes away my sleep. Took me by surprise. Just realized you're